Hi there, this is David and welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Quest 2. Since last time, I have gone ahead and did a little bit of gold grinding, just enough to get up to about 4,500 gold, and I went to the inn. So let's go in and explore this town. Okay. Yeah, is there anybody in this inn? No, there's nothing. Hey there. Oh, oh, really? Olive Guard's to the east? Huh. How so? The king's vanished. Oh, no. If you talk to this guy down here, you can save. This guy does regular church services. I don't need either of them because I've already saved off screen, so I'm good. Oh. Um, wait. Oh, you're actually talking to Linda. I was, like, really confused. I was like, who are you talking to? <laughs> hey there. Oh, yeah, so I guess they founded all these, uh, countries here. Huh. Uh, sure, I have some lottery tickets, so we'll go ahead and, uh, play the lottery, why not? I'll do all of my lottery playing on screen, because you never know what you're actually going to win. Or I could win nothing, that works too. I think I have two lottery tickets, you pretty much get them, um, randomly whenever you fight certain enemies, they can drop them, so I've been getting them. I think I got one of the tower and then one on my way here. So hopefully we get something good. No. Oh. Oh, okay. Sure, I guess I can play again. That's fine. I know this is thrilling LPing, but eh, whatever. It's part of the game. It is what it is. And besides, if I did this off-screen and I won like a grand prize, I know that you guys would be like, you guys, you know, you you saved states. You know, that's that's uh that's how you got it. You were cheating. But no, I'm I'm not. I'm playing it all. Come on. Really? Come on! Oh my god. <laughs> it's it's like, yeah, I want to do this on screen, but I don't want to do like the entire episode of the lottery. I mean, come on. Are you kidding me? Seriously? Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, uh, let me know what you guys think about the lottery. Should I do this on screen or off screen? Please, let me know! Because after this, I might not be doing it on screen anymore. We shall see. Because this is crazy! I only had two tickets, man. Ugh. I actually kind of glad that I lost just to be out of that, like, lottery hell that I was in. Was this the hot woman that was hiding? Oh, um, no. <laughs> oh my god, seriously, game? You have got to be kidding me. I, I can't believe that that's actually in there. Wow. Oh wow, that's, um something else <laughs> yeah um i would rather be homosexual than a whore in a back alley somewhere freaking bitch what the hell's wrong with you oh yeah i would actually oh well that sucks why not yeah whatever over here is a bank if you want to use it you can i don't so yeah uh let's see you can buy some weapons to uh, take care of that girl over there. Man. So, let's see. We can get some clothes of hiding, which are very, very good equipment for both Rolando and Linda. That will last pretty much the vast majority of the game for them. Like, and this is the first upgrade that Linda's ever had to her armor. So, definitely buy uh, clothes hiding for both of them. They are so, so, so good. And that's all that I want to do there. Hey there, lady. Oh. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, and for the first time in um, this game, we can actually purchase a Dragon's Bane, which you could normally get from the lottery, but I just haven't been lucky. This reduces the effects of Stop Spell or Sleep against you, so you definitely want to go ahead and purchase one for each member of your party. Uh, seriously? Um, yeah, stick it on Linda, whatever. I, I hate this item management crap, it just bugs me. Well, let, let me just fix this up in a second. Okay, got all that stuff to take care of, I sold some items and all that kind of mess. 
So let's see, I just need to buy Rolando now a Dragon's Bane. There we are. Perfect. Okay, so everything's good. Oh, and um, now we need to actually equip them. And to do that, all you really have to do is just use it. You can go into the equip menu and equip it that way, but it's actually faster just going to get inside the item menu and just hit use. Um, so, yeah, just do that. Hey there, lady. Uh-oh. Yikes. Um, sure. I don't need her. Uh-oh. Yikes. Yeah, no matter what you say there, you have to fight these gremlins. These guys can breathe fire on you. They can heal themselves. And they can also, um... Oh, oh, they can uh, put you to sleep. So, yeah, just be aware of that. But they are weak to fire. So, yeah, just use that. Um, I like to use stop spell on them, too, just in case they put me to sleep. Um, I want to say that this background right here with, like, the town is the only time in the game that we ever really see this background. I could be wrong, though, but I'm pretty sure I'm right. Oh, okay, sure. Not a problem. Oh, well, thanks. Oh, really? Well, that's awesome. Okay. Oh, yeah, no kidding. Well, let's get inside of our ship and uh, go down here, open up the silver key door, and get off our ship. Yeah, that was uh, short-lived. Oh, really? Huh. Oh. Oh. Okay. Well, sounds like a plan. Huh. I wonder what the reward is. But we have two things to look at now. We have sunken treasures to find, but we don't know where those are. But we did hear that Olive Guard was over to the east, so let's just head on over there. Well, this must right be the uh, continent of Olive Guard, which is kind of nice. Let's just uh, land our ship. And we get Dragon Warrior 1 music. And some new enemies, the Mudmen, as well as the Demi Ghosts. Uh, let's see, just attack those, and we'll use Infernos against the Mudmen. Those Mudmen can do a strange jig, which will um, drain your MP. It's really obnoxious. So yeah, do try to get rid of them as fast as humanly possible. The Demi Ghosts can attack twice, and they can also drop a Chain Sickle, so that's pretty cool. If you run into a big group of those, you might just want to put them to sleep because they have a very low resistance to the sleep spell. Hey, nice. Yeah, you hear this music? Very nostalgic. Uh-oh, more gremlins, but these are gremlins in the wild. So we'll use Infernos again. Yeah, what was just a mini boss two seconds ago is now just a regular enemy. Remember what I said about uh, this game being like the hardest in the series? Yeah. But then again, a lot of games back then really didn't have bosses or mini bosses. It was like you just played the game until the end. Whoa, look at Sherlock Castle. Looks crazy over there. Oh, I wonder where Breconary went to. Huh. Oh, well, let's just uh, look around, see what we got going on here. Oh, hey, hey, nice! So just like in the first game, you can uh, restore all of my MP. Very good. Oh. I thought that this guy would be the church, but I guess not. Yeah, he's the saving person. Huh. Wouldn't you think that the king would be saving my progress right now? Yeah, whatever, that's fine. You can save here, it's whatever. Sure. Okay. I wonder why the king's shirking his duties. Yeah, as a matter of fact, I am. Yep. Oh. How would you even know, like, what the descendants look like? Oh. Yeah, about 100 of them. Okay, well, thanks. Oh, where's the king? Huh. This throne room looks a lot smaller than I remember, too. Oh, the king's in hiding. Yeah, no kidding. Wow, all of his people are out here and the king is in hiding? That really is shameful. Um, yeah, I do. Oh, it's sparkling. Huh. Okay, well, what happens if we say no? 
Oh, okay. Huh. The middle of the open sea to the north of Leonport. Got you. Yeah, a lot of people have a hard time finding that sunken treasure, and the reason is because they don't talk to that person that I just spoke to. You have to, number one, talk to the person in Leonport, then, number two, talk to that guy about the sunken treasure, and say no. If you don't do both of those things, then you cannot find the sunken treasure. It's really a bastard move on the part of the game designers here. So it's a two-step process. Oh. Huh. I'll keep that in mind if I ever get cursed. I never got cursed in the first game. Hopefully I won't get cursed in this game either. Yeah, they were. And also, Breconary was on the right-hand side of Tank to Castle. And now it's on the left? Um, I don't really know how that works, but sure. There's an item shop. I don't care. An inn. I don't care. Let's see what's over here. Anything decent? Not that I can afford anything. Well, we have the Giant's Hammer, um, but I also don't really care about that either. The broadsword is plenty for me right now, and as far as the Iron Helmet is, is concerned, that's very expensive for what you, uh, for the defense bonus that you actually receive. Huh. Could that possibly be the king? Yeah. Okay, so we still need that golden key to open up all these doors. So, as I was saying, I do not feel like I should buy the, um, what is it, the, uh, iron, no, the iron helmet. Wait, why did I return here? Because I just saved here. Arrgh, I wanted to return to Leonport. I'm just going to meet you in Leonport. Okay, I am back. Yeah, that was really dumb of me. <laughs> I really shouldn't have saved over at, uh, Tangatel Castle, but whatever. So, we heard that the sunken treasure was over here to the north. Let's go look for it. Let's go exploring. And run into some new enemies, the Sea Slug and the Mana War. Let's see, I want to use my Wizard's Wand on the Mana War. Um, the Sea Slug, let's see what they can do. They can poison you, they can use Sweet Breath on you to put you to sleep, and they can call for more help. They're very obnoxious. Oh, but what's all this? Huh. Woohoo! Nice! I'm gonna meet you back at that man in Leonport. Okay, here I am, and I just want to turn in my uh, sunken treasure that I just got. Hey there. Yep. I don't know how we can dive to the bottom of the ocean, but hey, whatever. And for talking to him, we get the mighty echoing flute. There it is. Nice. Let's go ahead and use that. Um, it didn't echo. What kind of a crappy echoing flute is that? Why didn't an echo? Uh, we'll have to try it in multiple places to try to find an echo. But can we actually make it through Charlock Castle? Find out next time on Let's Play Dragon Quest 2. This has been David. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a good day.